Welcome back to the Orca Boat Shop. My name's Rod and still wearing a hat because I can't get a haircut yet due to COVID-19. So this is week number three and in uh, this last week I managed to completely close up the hull which means all the artwork in the bottom of the boat got both the stems glued on and the cheater steps, strips filling the gaps. So you want to see how this all took place? Let's get to it. Begin building the crisscross pattern in the bottom of the hull. I'm going to need to cut some thin pinstripe strips of dark cedar and yellow cedar. And here I'm just feathering down the ends, tapering them back about 16 inches on each piece so they will blend together. And then I just stagger the ends and fit them into the fine point opening on the bottom of the kayak. First I need to do a dry fit, bend them in a curve towards the other side to determine where I'm going to cut the ends of these strips and feather the ends on the second end. Once I'm happy with the fit, I'll just apply the glue and install these three strips all at once, clamping them together with a bunch of spring clamps and letting them harden. Here on the ends, I think I'm going to use some nice dark Peruvian walnut. So I'm just calculating sort of how much I need. If I put a strip in there, I've got a small gap here. I just glue another small piece onto there. And I'll need four of these for the two ends. Okay, well, just to glue these little shorter strip to the longer one and put them aside for the glue to dry. So glue's almost set up on this side. I can start making. The second side here, the artwork, feathered my piece back and it gets clamped all the way up to this station. With the glue set up on the first side with the pinstripe crossing the center line, I'm now installing some pinstripe strips on the second side and then I'll determine where I need to cut it at the center line. So I've glued these three little strips into here and after I've done and cut the ends I've realized that I have not crossed on the center line. I would want the back edge here to be on the center line. So I'm going to actually take this piece out. I mean it's glued in but I'm pretty sure we can just cut through that glue. The last piece is not really glued in so well it's tacked in now. but should be able to release that glue bond like so and pull it out down here. All right, second attempt. This time I've added in my three little pinstripes all together at the same time. So after replacing that small section down there, I now have it running down the center line a little better. I can do the the uh, what's this? This would be the bow end, 
and be able to bring these through so the equid so these strips will end up at equidistance from the center or equidistance from the, uh, the last dark strip in there and it'll look a lot better and a lot more uniform. Glue's good and dry on my cheater strips. I can just take these clamps off and start to shape each one of these to fit in those gaps. I've installed two of the cheater strips and with the glue drying on those I can just move back to the bottom of the boat and continue with my pin striping. So now that the crisscross pattern artwork is in the boat, the decision now is whether I should be running strips from center line out, which likely would be the easier way to go, end up with a small little piece in here. Maybe I do that in the center area and the longer pieces here can still go from shear line in. There's going to be long tapers on the ends. And what color to use? Do I just stick with the same lumber here or I could even go with some yellow cedar. It might look very interesting to have that contrasting with the yellow cedar. Just not sure whether the customer's expecting that or not. So if we look at the color of these woods when they're going to be wet with epoxy. I don't know. I think the yellow in there would be really nice as opposed to just the regular red cedar. So I think I'm going to go with yellow cedar in here. These strips are a bit wide. They're okay to be going down the center, but they're going to be hard to be bending down along the shear. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to run some yellow cedar or the planks will follow this line up to here but down center section I will run from center out with a small piece that will end up in here somewhere.
here. I think I'm going to start off by actually gluing two pieces together and then fitting it in as a unit. for my cheaters in. Now it's time to install the external stems. So the external stem has got to made up to that internal stem, something like that. So I need to trim this back, find the flush external surface of the internal stem, and we'll glue that on there. Also a little here. go too far I can cut some more as needed. I should be able to just cut some of this off here. My utility knife makes it a bit faster. The So with one end completed, I'll go to the other end before gluing them both in. So I mixed up some fast curing epoxy, West System 105-205 and just brush some onto the end here. This end grain will tend to soak up a lot of epoxy, therefore I will brush some on, go to the other end, brush some onto the stem itself then come back and saturate it some more. So I've mixed up the remaining epoxy with some silica strengthening the bond and any gap filling and I'm just going to liberally spread it on the ends. So the first thing I'm going to do is jam it right up into here and then clamp it on the overhang of the inside stem so that it doesn't want to, as I tighten this down, slide down. The... So one way to attach this would be to drill some holes in here, drive some wax screws through there to hold it in place, pull out those wax screws tomorrow. However, I don't really want any holes to fill. So I'm going to see if we can wrap this puppy real tight with some bungees. Squeeze it out. Scrape off all of that now.
number three. Uh, it's a bit of an ugly duckling right now. Lots of glue lines, some strips are a little uneven, but some of them were a little bit thicker anyways. So in week four, we'll start to clean this all up. Maybe have a little bit of filling and some small little gaps here and there. Uh, shape the stems in and prepare this kayak for fiberglass. So see you next week and thank you very much for watching. And if you want to become a subscriber, then we've got the subscribe button right down there in the bottom corner. See you next week.